Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this Yonten monopod. As you can see here, this is a pretty nice small monopod and I've been using this for about a month now to put in front of me to film the various different review videos that you've seen. Pretty much everything here is made out of plastic for the top and then the body of the monopod is actually made out of metal. Uh, the bottom feet here, you have yeah, these feet that you can actually collapse so you can have it open and close in different direction. So you can uh, collapse and close these feet here by pushing this button and fold it up just like this for portable storage. Of course you need to press it and bring it back out and if you want to use it and it has this one position right here. Right now the uh, monopod is locked in the one position, you can loosen this little knob here to move it around. And uh, my problem is that, uh, not this, but actually the part here, this part here, the, uh, the lower leg here, you can actually take this off. And sometimes you just get loosened like this, and you can see it wobble around. So what you want to do is you want to tie it all the time and uh, by just rotating uh, clockwise and keep it in place. But yeah, if that is loose, uh, it actually will move around a little bit. But on a flat surface, uh, this works pretty well. And as you can see that it has a little gift to it, and it's pretty nice. Uh, you got a little bounce, and it stays in place pretty well. So out here on the deck, I'm just testing the stability. See how our yeast works, so I have it pretty much lock up, I'm going to shake it a little bit. So there's a little bit of wiggling, but not too much, not bad. So I'm using this only on a small camera like the one I'm handheld right now, the uh, RX100. And you know, something like the, uh, you know, the S95 here on the old camera, I just want to give you guys an idea of what it looked like on this guy. This is the mountain blade, it has a little bit of cord at the bottom here to kind of keep everything in place. It's pretty well gripped. So up top here you have a little slot that you can slide this right in, and when you push on it, it will lock in place just like that and you can see and it become pretty steady so if you're losing your snap right here you can uh, control it up and down like this you can see pretty easy and it's pretty smooth and fluid which i really like so with a heavier camera like my uh, pentax k5 i uh, can actually move it uh, by itself so just be really careful you gotta also be careful with the bigger camera that uh, you don't let it tip over because uh, yeah the leg is pretty sturdy but uh, yeah if it's really heavy it will tip over uh, especially if you leave it on carpet or something not as uh, sturdy as this uh, table here for example you also have this knob here that you can lock and unlock and that control the uh, pen here as you can see has a nice marking on it, no number, just marking, but that can give you an idea. And the tail is done by that guy, of course. So other than that, you have this little tab here that you can open to extend in three different sections, the monopod. So you can, uh, you know, make it taller, shorter. So uh, on the uh, tallest extension, you think can go all the way up to 58 inches, all the way up to here to the blade. So the blade here, up to this point here is 58 inches, so it kind of give you an idea how tall this little guy is. This little arm here uh, can be loosened right up front here, but it's staying in place here and it's not one of those, uh, you know, quick uh, clock and unlock. It's just a little arm that you can use to uh, pan into your camera. So yeah, overall it's a pretty cool little monopod, it works pretty well. You just have to be careful to keep that uh, bottom base there locked in place, otherwise it will be kind of a bit wobbly. The other nice thing about this is you can loosen it and using it uh, kind of more like a dolly shot, a really short dolly shot, but uh, you know, that's a possibility on this guy also. So guys, that's pretty much conclude my quick review. I hope it helped you in your purchase decision. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment below and as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.